Guys, it's insert day of the week, and you know what that means. It's time once again for whatever day it is, morning, so, I, okay, we're doing a summer video. Today we're here on, I don't know if this was the same name that he had the last time. We're here on Mr. Quest, the OG. I know him as Alex. Uh, we're here on his account. Last time we summoned for him, it didn't even make it onto YouTube because we got such bad RNG. We got him at Dupe Jameer out of all of his scrolls. And that's it. I don't remember. He That's just what he told me. And it sounds about right. So we need to redeem ourselves this time. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully we can redeem ourselves. 150. What if we get an LD? What if we get LD5? I mean, I'm sure we'll get LDs of any kind from here. But hopefully, hopefully. What, uh, what are we looking at in terms of what, what to... I don't want to say what to expect. Four to five. I think I think maybe four to five would be average. Or rather, I know four to five would be average. Not fives. Please, God, do not just get one Jameer and then call it a day. That would be very disappointing. Uh, I think he also said we can get blessings. If I'm correct, we're here on the uh, Europe server. Oh, that was a feisty lightning. Just wanted to percolate extra, but not give us anything ridiculous afterwards. Uh, any new monsters welcome have ancient crystals for two blessings. Been two months since, since you did summons for me and didn't make it to YouTube because of dupe for me. Yeah. Yeah, he hopes to get on YouTube. And he hopes to get more, <laughs> some more some more monsters than just the dupe for me. I, I hope so as well. It kills me to... To summon for people and then to have them be disappointed it it sucks like i i feel so guilty when that happens and i have no control over it i and i wish i did but you know if i had control over it i would start giving you guys crazy things and then like it's it's a good thing i'm not in charge of comp to us not only am I not in charge, that's the understatement of the year. Uh, I have absolutely no sway in any way, aside from sometimes making recommendations on videos of like, oh, here's monsters that I think would be cool to be buffed and then come to us. I don't think that they watch it necessarily. I think that people watch it and then they mention it to others and then those people mention it to others and then com come to us catches wind from someone else that's completely unrelated to me. I don't think they actually watch any of my stuff, so... They're like, we don't want to watch this idiot. <laughs> All the Kautos and players are like, we're not getting paid enough to watch him on a regular basis. <laughs> if I wanted to stare at garbage, I would just look at the garbage dumpster outside work. I don't I don't know. Maybe I'm being a little Yeah. Uh, maybe I'm being a little harsh, but I, I think that there's a lot of people out there who feel like I'm not being harsh enough. Moving on! Water Gladiator. I feel like I should be using her more. The Water Gladiatrix. She does some cool stuff. But, you know, right now it's just a... It's not about just using a good unit. It's about... Hey, here we go. It's about efficiency. It's about what has the most... Like, is it good? How efficient of a good unit is it? So, base stats, multi-hits... Amount of debuffs, base speed, leader skill. You take any of those things out and, and some units that are good right now would just be less efficient and it's kind of, you know... There's a lot of micromanagement. Not quite to the same level as uh, something like StarCraft or League of Legends, but... There's a lot of people just crunching numbers saying, like, what is, what is the most efficient unit for the job? And then there's also some people that just goof off and they're like, what is the unit that I feel like playing with? Let me put ridiculous runes on it. And then that's going to be my efficiency is that I have ridiculous runes. And can afford to get away with playing with uh, crazy stuff. I mean, you can't, you can't play with too crazy of stuff because there's just things that like would, you can't use. Right? There's just monsters that are like completely unusable. For the most part, they're like two or three stars. A couple four stars that are like that. Light Phantom Thief, I'm looking at you. Don't tell me he's not. Uh, he's, <laughs> that's my opinion on him. Whatever sounds those were, that's my opinion on the Light Phantom Thief. Hopefully one day. I, I feel like one day he's going to get good. Get good, bruh. But, you know, we had the same issue with Water Joker was garbage. Uh, Water Vampire was garbage. 
for the most part. He got a few buffs, though, over the course of time. But these units are usable now. Oh, I just messed up the screen. I don't know if it's going to be... Okay. It's not that bad. I don't think you guys can really see it. I think it probably looks fine for you. Okay. Good. So no, not fives just yet. Concern, a little bit concerning. We didn't summon a crazy amount of stuff, but crazy amount of scrolls. Just a little bit concerning. I like when we start with. It's it's more important what we get ultimately at the end, not how we start. But I do like when we start with like a nat five or two. This way I can. Ah, sigh of relief and not have to think about maybe we disappoint them again. So, yeah. Let's see, when Gargoyle. Man, I'm excited for that. Uh, well, I'm not going to get it, but one of those new units, the new cyborgs, the LD cyborgs. Is, uh, is effectively immune to defense breaks, attack breaks, things like that. Uh, let's let's take a look at it. brief, brief look, brief look, a couple seconds at her. So you guys know what I'm talking about. Mm, here we go. I think it's this light one. Inverted output passive. Attack power, defense, and attack speed decreasing effects grant that yourself will be changed. If you get decreased attack power, your attack power increases by 50%. If you get decreased defense, your defense increases by 70%. If you get decreased attack speed, your attack speed increases by 30%. This is so ridiculous. It's it's It seems like such an amazing unit. And also, uh, skill 2 ignores damage reduction effects. And then we have a uh, leader skill HP. This seems like it would be amazing in 4-star defenses. I mean, I, 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 I don't know what that was supposed to be. It seems like it would be amazing in 4-star guild siege offense. I don't know why I said defenses, but... Yeah. Against 4-star defenses in guild siege offense. Sometimes I'm thinking two different thoughts, and I'm like, let's phrase the sentence this way. And then part of my brain is like, but I still want to go this way and phrase it that way. And then the sentence doesn't wind up making sense. And I don't know why that is. I don't know why that is. I find myself getting confused making sentences nowadays. I'm not sure it's if it's because I am getting old and stupid. Which is most likely the case. Ooh, Navy Seals. <sighs> Any new monster is welcome. I feel like I should ask because based on his preference... Or, or take a look at his units in RTA. See if he's doing RTA. Okay. Looks like he's got... He's got some turn one, he's got some turn two. Oh, he's got the Lima. Does he have a Bulwark? I, I feel like that shouldn't be that big of a deciding fight. Yeah, he's got the Bulwark. How fast are his aggressive units? Okay, that doesn't have runes. That doesn't have runes. <laughs> okay, these things don't have runes. All right, so he's not doing RTA. Oh, wait a second. He's got the Hawaii here in RTA. Well, we did a Hawaii video. I, I'm I'm assuming maybe that's uh, based on that. It was interesting to use. I don't know if I would use it all the time in RTA, but it was kind of interesting to... Uh, oh, we got the Megas to jiggle. Let me actually uh, message him. I didn't hear back from him. I looked at his runes. I looked at the things that he's using, that he's built already. There's a lot of stuff that's still not even built, but I think that for his account, for what he has... He's not going to be able to utilize the Fire Puppeteer as much as uh, I think a lot of people that like. Because a lot of people like the Fire Puppeteer, but he's... It's more for RTA. Obviously, he doesn't do RTA. He occasionally jumps into some Guild Siege battles. And I think that uh, Bulwark, which we ha he has, Feng Yan, which he has, and Water Totemist, uh, Aaliyah, is a nice combo together that is actually very strong for offense. So... So that's what I'm hoping he uses. And also two of those units, actually all three of those units 
are easy to scalp if you feel like fusing scalps for them if you don't have double bonds. So solid team. So that's why I'm going for that. And I'm, I'm trying to use better judgment based on what he has as far as runes and units built and units summoned too. So I got to justify it because I know people are going to be like, how dare you, you did him so darn. I'm like, I'm just, I'm trying <laughs> to figure it out based on just guessing. So while well, there are some people that have uh, a lot of crazy fast rune sets for the accounts that don't have crazy fast rune sets, we got to think more uh, turn, uh, turn two and what could be potentially viable. And I think that's a solid team. Actually, I know that that's a solid team. It's a very strong team. The HP lead. All the heals. All the amount of buffs and buffs and buffs to stack the, uh, the Bulwark. It's been a strong, uh, strong team for quite a while, actually. And I tried using that, and I tried using the Amelia and the Aaliyah. Water Totemist is so much stronger than uh, than the other one. Oh, he just emailed me. Pick who is best. Okay, there we go. There we go. But yeah, I, I recommend that team. Feng Yan, Aaliyah, Bulwark. Or rather, Bulwark Leader Skill, and then Feng Yan, Aaliyah. Bulwark is such a solid unit. He gets banned a lot, though, in RTA. I mean, depending on the comps, but yeah. If your opponent starts picking really aggressively into uh, to buffs and buffs and buffs and buffs, they're like, I'm going to pick a Woosa, I'm going to pick a... Um, well, I don't want to call her Maya. Jeez, what, what is wrong with my brain, guys? Don't answer that. I already know. I already know. Riley, jeez. It's okay, I've had plenty of times where I'm like reviewing videos and I'm talking about like Artemiel or Ariel or Elandria and I'm like, that's not the right Archangel. Like I'm, I'm, I'm saying the name of something else and I'm talking about as if it's a different one. And then people get confused and they're like, oh, you're, what are you talking about? And they're like, oh, you're wrong, because this unit isn't good in that spot. I'm like, that's not the unit I'm talking about. I'm trying to say the other unit. But for whatever reason, I am saying the name of the wrong thing. And I know better. I just don't realize in the moment that I'm saying the name of the wrong thing. Guys, I got... I'm going to go see uh, Neurosurgeon. What are the, the... Of course, I don't remember the names of them. What are the things that... Uh, the brain doctors, not not neurosurgeons. I don't remember. My brain doesn't work, of course. That's why I don't remember. Fire BK. I've tried using him so many times. He is solid for uh, for some siege comps, but I feel like I just, I just get not great RNG every time I try to use him. And I'm like, well, this would work better if I got better RNG. Well, this would work better if I got better RNG. At least we got a nat 5 so far. Second nat 5. Uh, I knew it wasn't going to be. We didn't have any lag. How many summons left? Why am I asking you? I'm the one clicking the buttons. Why am I asking you? 250. I'm hoping we walk away with 4 or 5. We are 1 down. But we save the exciting scrolls for the end, so. Or what we think are going to be the exciting scrolls. Sometimes that's not quite the case. New champion. All right. Man, it really sucks uh, that they did away with dots in the uh, the highest level of dungeon teams. 
That's like that's that's kind of the fundamental thing. Of like anytime you play one of these gotcha games, you're like, what is the dot unit, and how can I make this my dungeon team so that I can beat things that I shouldn't be beating? Like the first couple weeks of the game. Like I, I want to get the. High Ooh. Both of these are dupes. Let's go for this one then. I'm not sure if he wants the feed. He said, keep dupes of top tier units. Personally, I don't think Odin is a top tier unit, but it is a unit that people do like to keep dupes of for guild content. And it's also an easy unit to scale. Not easy, easy. You still have to put effort into fusing things, but it is a unit that you can skill up with fusions. And we are at two, not five so far. 160 mysticals left. So as long as we get double this, it's not going to be super disappointing. Or we could just get an LD5. I, I'm hoping we get some good LD4s at the very least. Because those 10 year special scrolls, those are uh, pretty solid for LDs. Did I get anything for mine on my main? Oh, actually, I don't know if that uh, video was posted. So maybe I shouldn't say if I did. Because I'm trying to remember which uh, which account is which. So I'm not going to say anything. It wasn't an LD5. <laughs> There's that. I don't remember what we got, but it, there was not an LD5. I'm just trying to remember what we actually did get. Should be fun to do those on the LD only account. I did not do that yet. Hmm. Potentially fun. You know, just the opportunity to get stuff on that account is nice. Even though we can't use it anymore. Uh, we, we really can't use it for a lot. They come to us did away with all the fun content. Or, or all the fun options for content. Some content you can't even use. Like this, There's some stuff in the uh, uh, Dimension Hole that you just can't do with an LD only account. Because you need multiple different elements. And it's like, well, there goes the gimmick stuff. Can't use dupes in the uh, Abyss Dungeons. Can't use dots. It's, it's almost like they wanted to suck the fun out of the game on purpose. <laughs> because fun does not make, fun doesn't make them money. They're like, we, we don't care if you use goofy teams. We want to do what's profitable. Again, I can't blame them. They are a business, but yeah. Sucks for YouTubers that are trying to do goofy stuff and be like, look at this stupid thing that works. It's like, oh, we can't do that content anymore. Like, we just can't do that content. So, or rather, we it's, it's very limited. We can still do a little bit of that content, but yeah. Can't do like five of a kind dragons B12. Rip the dream. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe we did too much goofy nonsense. I miss the old days though. I miss the old days of life. I miss the old days of life when. It wasn't just about being better than everyone else. Like now there's just this big push of like, oh, you have to be, are you playing a video game? Don't play it for fun. Play it to be better than other people and then talk crap about how much they suck because you beat them. Like what, what is this? Why is this how video games have progressed? It's eSports now, give us money. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is what I'm looking for. I want to see if we get another LD piece. Nope. Hmm. 
That's uh, fine. It's not the end of the world. I'm, I'm sure we'll just do. It's bugging me, though. He's got all the Megans out here. Or rather, all the mystical witches. But... We don't have a ton of uh, LDs. So we get one lightning and one good usable unit from these. I'm gonna go with no. Looking like a no. Alright, here we go. One lightning. Okay, Dark Scoggle, Dark Giant Warrior. Uh, I suppose we can then. He just got changed, I believe, a couple... There's a last patch or a couple patches ago or something like that. Like a slight tweak, if I recall correctly. Kind of fuzzy. Hoping for two more Nat 5s. Two more good new Nat 5s. Not just anything, just two more good new Nat 5s. We will also take LD 5s. I'm not saying we won't. We will definitely take those. If they're on the table. Witchish rolls. We'll see what we have for the which one? Wind one. They all look the same. They really do. Fire? Yeah. Let's see what's going on with these events. I love that we have a separate box. I mean, this has happened before in previous uh, previous anniversaries where we get the special the special tab for just anniversary stuff. It's wild. Can we get one more Nat Five from these? I'm I'm kind of bummed out that those the last round of two A's was not as effective as it could have been. Like, there was a few that were, you know, that, that became usable, but, or rather more usable. But it wasn't anything ridiculous game-changing. I'm, I'm glad that some of these new units, the cyborgs and the hackers, actually seem like they're usable units now, though. At least the hackers. I haven't done too much with the cyborgs yet. At the time that I'm recording this, I don't know if I've already done videos on that at the time that you're seeing this, but. Can we do one more? I just want to get, it's, it's bugging me. It's bugging me that we don't have a, that last piece for an LD. scrolls because we're not does he have a crap ton possessed amount eh, we could Shh, don't tell him I'm doing this don't tell him oh we could do that one if we an LD5 then it's fine. Then, then he's not going to be upset. Hold on. <laughs> nothing's, literally nothing is going to happen. Yeah, Dark Lizard Man. All right. He's gonna, I'm going to get an angry email. Why are you feeding my four stars? Why are you doing it? All right. Light Griffin. Very nice. I think the opportunity to get Light Griffin from these scrolls is great for new players. Some of the some of the very important uh, LD threes for PVE. Also a Sheer LD threes for PVP too. 
Shear's kind of a staple to try to contest speed. Contest turn one. I'm hoping, well, we might get three on it. Like we should get three LD4s on average. Which one is this? This is the water devil. This is new. Okay, good. Very nice. I actually like her. I like the fact that she takes something off the battlefield and they come back with half health. It's like a Molong plus a uh, Jogun at the same time. Really solid. And we are at three nat five so far. So definitely better than the last uh, the last one a couple months ago. Beautiful. Is this new or is this a dupe? We are four nat fives. It is a, it is a dupe. All right. Uh, I'm thinking we're going to... Okay, LD4. Dark Magic Archer. I don't know if that's new or not. That is new. Fantastic. What do we have here? Shimmer Taint. And we have 100 more. And why can I never find the things that I always want to find? Good question. I just want to say, oh, he's, he's not even built. What is this? What is this? Zero skill ups. HP crit damage, HP, all five star runes. Can you please put not five star runes on him? Why? Oh, oh my God. You're killing me. Why, why are those his runes? Why, why would you do that to him? Why do you hate him so much? Dear Lord, his poor cigar. So we got 80 more. No LDs at all on that one. Ah, oh, here we go. Finally, the LDs are back. No, also, no lightning. Got it. They're they're getting ready. Wait, wait, wait. Let's let's jiggle. maybe we jiggle Megan some more. We need some good RNG. Please, one more Nat Five. Please, at least one more LD Four. What do we get? Ooh. Was she just buffed not that long ago? She she was a few patches ago. I still like the Xingzhe the most. So we're gonna pick the Xingzhe. We're good though. We got five uh five net fives on here. Definitely better than the dupe Jameer we got last time. Definitely a win. Needed this, needed this redemption here. And we got two LD4s. I would have liked more than that, though. We should have got more. Sadly, we did not. Last one, last temple. Don't finish with it. The fart. Oh my god. All right. Well, let's see what we have. This very last one. And we'll finish it off with this. Still though, not bad. Five five nat fives. We're good. We're good with that. Nice bruiser units too, aside from Odin. Although, you know, the fact that he revives himself makes him somewhat of a bruiserish. I wouldn't quite classify him as that, but you know, you can think of Perna as a bruiser, so why not Odin? He comes back from the dead too. I really hope we finish with some some kind of LD lightning. Not gonna happen. I know, I know. Hoping against hope. 
<laughs> not not even any all right gg there we go anything here no oh we got a cyborg still still better than the last one still better than the last one we got some new five stars so there we go and we got a bethany and we got a uh tressar so anyway that's it for this one hope you guys get some awesome summons on your own accounts as well i will see you as always in the next one